Hey guys, welcome back to Tyra Farms. And I'm gonna walk around the garden again. And it's such a beautiful afternoon. It is September 10th. And I just got done mowing around the farmhouse a little bit. And sun is starting to go down and it's really nice out. Um, but I just wanted to walk over and check the garden out. I've not been over here uh, for a few days. So I was really just wanting to see how it's looking. You can see it's starting to grow up and get patchy. Uh, I'm gonna start taking stuff down here in a day or two. But I mean, we've still got a couple things I may pick tonight. Uh, we're still getting a lot of peppers. They're starting to slow down. But it broke that one off. So still getting some peppers. I'll set that up there for now. But uh, tomatoes are pretty much dead. Um, we had a bunch left on there, but they were small. They didn't really get big. Uh, the peppers have still done really good. Like, it just amazes me how, I mean, we've got small ones here. See those little ones? See if there's any bigger ones. Here's a few bigger ones. Yeah, look at this. There's a good one. Oh yeah. So that's a good one. Sit that right there. If I can get a look at that. So peppers are still looking good. Uh, you seen the last video and I'll try to post it up here, one of these corners. Uh, the sweet potatoes did amazing. They kind of blew my mind. Uh, we had one or two slips that made some bruisers. I mean, big ones. We've got two boxes full of sweet potatoes. And we love sweet potatoes. They're so good. Very good for you. Uh, and we picked, got a little rabbit running through the woods, or the yard over here. Uh, he's quick. But we picked two more watermelons. And we actually have some still trying to grow. Look at this little cutie. Oh man, ain't that the cutest thing ever? Here's his big brother, another one. Look at that. And then we have one right here. So that one sounds like it's about ready. So I may be taking that one home. And I think there's another one hidden here somewhere uh oh yeah right here but look i didn't even see it there's one right here the one i just knocked on right here and there's one right here and there's there's actually two of them look at that here's one and then here's one so they're little I'll pick them eventually. I may pick that bigger one. Uh, the reason I really wanted to make this video and I'm gonna try to make it quick was just go over some of the things we've learned. And this was our first year uh, doing the garden on our own. I mean, I've been raised in fam with families that have done gardens, uh, hay. We, we've always worked in hay, tobacco pretty much everything like most eastern kentucky families uh like if you grew up in the 80s and 90s and early 2000s you worked in tobacco or hay uh, or had a garden so we've kind of done it all between my families uh, all of them uh but this was really my first time and my wife's uh billy this is our first time doing a garden and I think we've done a pretty good job, if I must say so ourselves. Uh, a lot of people kind of had their doubts on our garden abilities, but you know what? We're, we're smart. We didn't just go out there and throw stuff in the ground and expect it to grow. We actually, we did our research and we tried to figure out best times to grow stuff. Uh, what grows best and what areas 
I did a soil sample of the ground to try to see what ground was the best. Uh, this this property has a history of growing the, growing the garden in pretty much every bottom up here. So I know I know stuff would grow anywhere, but there's a lot to it. Uh, knowing where your sun uh, comes up and where it goes down, what gets uh, a lot more sun throughout the day, like you want to get eight hours of sunlight. Um, I've got a hillside here that is starting to block the sun, and it is September, so actually the hill back here behind me the sun will come up over here and it will go like this and then it will set over here behind this hill well earlier in the year it kind of it will go up higher in the sky so we're getting to the part of the year where it's seven o'clock and it's getting dark already uh versus two or three months ago it was eight thirty nine. so we had good sunlight in this spot, uh, which is why we, we chose this bottom. There's another bottom out in front of the house, which is also a good bottom, and we may utilize it next year. But the sun, it got less sun because it was closer to that hillside. So the sun would set quicker on it than it would this one. So we got more sunlight in this bottom. and the soil sample that we sent off indicated that this bottom was a little better. So if you can learn those two things, do some soil samples, it's free, uh, get you a, a kit, take it to your extension office, and they will uh, do a test for you and they'll tell you what it needs, if it needs anything, or they'll just, they'll tell you everything about the soil. So I did soil for both, both bottoms and this one more or less just said it was the best. Uh, I hear this rabbit. There's a rabbit running around out here. So I hear it running through the weeds. But that's one thing we did. Uh, and knowing where the sun was, like this got the most, uh, uh, the best sunlight. So soil, sunlight, and drainage. What kind of drainage did this bottom get? We this bottom got really good drainage. You seen er, in the earlier videos, we were utilizing the creek, which is right here, this little outside the fence, two feet outside the fence, we have a creek. And for the most part, it stays wet. Um, we can use water out of it most of the time. So that was really handy. Uh, we're close to the house if we needed water. Uh, and then with the plants, uh, we, we just, we just decided on what we wanted to eat, what we like to eat, cucumbers, uh, tomatoes, green beans, uh, kale, uh, cauliflower, um, lettuce, corn, of course, and peppers, uh, Billy, my wife, she makes, hella, uh, uh, sourdough and we use the peppers so that is something we can use to cook with and she sells sourdough so that worked out really good uh, she makes a, a jalapeno cheddar sourdough and it's amazing <coughs> sorry i'm still getting over this cough so i may start coughing um, the okra we wanted to try and we didn't really expect much out of it but it's been one of the best things we've done. Um, we picked this a couple days ago, as you can see, a couple spots here, and there's already some little ones growing. So it is growing like clockwork. It's still growing good. It's starting to get, die down a little bit. So it's, it's done really good. <coughs> Sorry. But, uh, Another thing we got in the ground <clears throat> really late was the cantaloupe. My dad loves cantaloupe, so we wanted, and cantaloupe's really good. I like it too. Um, we wanted to make some, do some cantaloupe. We got it in the ground late. I knew uh, 
I knew it was late, but we wanted to try and see how it did. Um, and actually, we've got one. Now, May, that thing just fell off, so I guess I'm taking that home. It just That one's actually not that bad. It's small, but they're not going to grow much more. It's getting cold at night. Uh, the squash and zucchini, they've done really well as well as like also here. I mean, every other day we're getting some this size. And Billy again makes amazing zucchini bread. And these are perfect. And this one's dripping. It's good and juicy. Uh, so they did well. Corn did really well. Uh, kind of, it took a while. I noticed we did have some very hot weather. Um, there for about two weeks, we had 90 to 95 degree weather for two, two and a half weeks. And uh, it really stunted the growth on everything we were doing, especially the green beans. None of our green beans... Uh, like got pollinated uh the little leaves as soon as they would bloom they get hot and they just break off so forever we do not have green beans but the cucumbers the cucumbers just kept producing producing the cucumbers did amazing uh and the potatoes the potatoes in our very first video if you look back we put in 23 i believe um, Kennebec uh, potatoes and they were just we didn't we didn't dice them or cut them we, they were whole potatoes with little eyes on them and they were about that big around but a little bigger than a golf ball or uh, just a little bigger uh, but we just covered those up we healed them up we could have healed them up a little more but that's something we've learned uh, that that's back to like stuff we've learned there's so much and i know i'll get off on little sidebars and just start talking about something else but another good thing is the fence the fence turned out to be the best thing we had we did not have one problem with any animals whatsoever uh i might have seen deer tracks in, inside maybe one time and the gate had been left open and it just walked in looked like it walked out uh but they did not they we've not had any problems at all with deer now the fence is five foot and it was a pain but we got a good deal on it uh you can get it at royal king tractor supply and like you can see how tall it is it's up to my neck uh we use these uh, t-posts we got a good deal on those and this i mean it's just flimsy we put it on about as tight as we could by hand but it has been amazing it's it's a must if you're going to have a garden at least put up some string or something i know people they'll use a uh, string and they say it does amazing so um uh, but we put the fence up it wasn't that expensive to do it uh, but it's something we'll have from now on. We can always fix it. So, in the kale, I'm looking at the kale. The kale did really well. And I, I need to cut some of it, take home, and make a smoothie. Because it is looking really good. Uh, the I think next year we will use more of this cattle panel. And that's the top that we used for the arch. So... This is a cattle, uh, a big piece of cattle panel, and it is just bowled over with, t uh, with four T-posts on each side, and we want to do this for our grapevine. And again, I got the cattle panel at Tractor Supply. Uh, they do price match uh, Royal King, so we got to, I mean, they'll, I'm, next year I want to get like two or three more of these, and we're going to use them through here on our vine stuff because uh, they're very durable durable and easy to work with 
Um, they're really nice. And I'm, I hear something up here in the woods. It sounds like a deer. Normally, I know y'all have watched my videos. If you have, deer usually like to come out around 738. So a lot of times while I'm sitting here talking, I'll look around and I'll see a deer. And uh, I hear one up here in the woods. So I'll try to post some pictures of it if he comes out before I leave. Uh, but the grapevine, I got it at Tractor Supply as well. Uh, it's done really well. It's almost as tall as me. Uh, we had some grapes on it the other day, but uh, Billy and I was up here looking at them and messing around with them, and they basically, we pulled them off. So, so next year, we're hoping to have a few more. Uh, she had put some flowers down here at the base of it, and we had kind of fixed those, but they... They were nice, nice little touch. Uh, but yeah, everything we've done, we've we've tried to research it. I mean, if you're watching this, you have the internet and you've got YouTube. We YouTube so much stuff. Uh, when to <clears throat> now, as I talk, I'm getting more and more hoarse. So sorry. As we planted stuff. We tried to look up videos, how to plant, when to harvest, uh, what's the right type of plant for our area. And I believe our uh, our zone is like 7B. Uh, and that's that will tell you kind of the best plants to grow or the best type of plants to uh, produce to grow in your area. Because we have a very particular weather here in eastern Kentucky. We kind of have the best of all seasons. Um, it's a late, late frost, an early frost. Um, it just, you have to, you have to plant stuff based on your area. And hopefully people all over is watching this video. So just learn uh, your zone. Know what your weather is like and know what is the best type of produce to plant in your area at the right time. So that's what we did. We There's a lot of research and I know a lot of people back in the day, they would just go out and throw it in the ground. Well, there's, there's so much, I've got burrs all over me. There's so much you can learn. And just because grandpa and grandma and great grandpa and your mom and dad or your uncle, they did it a certain way, doesn't mean it's the best way. That means it worked for them and it works. But you know what? You can take an old, old ideal or an old way of doing something and making it better. And that's what I like to think. Like, I have talked to so many people. Like I said, I've got family uh, where I work at. I talk to people all day long about gardening, and I just love it because I can take their ideals and combine it with somebody else's ideal, and I can put my own little spin on it from the research I've done, and I can try to make it even better. So I don't just take one ideal and run with it I take a multitude so it's like a multitude of counselors you get so many ideals and you can bring it together and you can have an amazing garden uh, and life is like that too so that's one reason I love listening to people excuse me I like I always talk to people I said I asked them how their gardens doing what do you do? What do you plant? Uh, what's the little, th what's the little things that you do? Um, I know people that will plant certain stuff on the first Saturday of the month because they've always done it and they've always heard that works or on a full moon or the last half moon of the, the March or like it's always something like that. Um, uh, and like 
watermelons that people do it on tarps they do it on newspaper some people do it on the ground i've heard people do stuff so many different ways and what we wanted to do this year in our first garden was just look at all the different ways that we've done stuff or other people have done stuff and do it our way that we see has been working the best for other people like the watermelons we've had really good luck out of our water watermelons uh we put the tarp down the black tarp um, a guy that i work with he does that and i wish i would have done that for the cantaloupe and i will next year the cantaloupe they've done good and i mean you can see here that this cantaloupe has probably been sitting on the ground for a while and it's not rotted so that is good uh so i mean they don't need it if you don't want to use it of course don't use it but from what i've read uh having the tarp down will help the moisture stay in the ground and it will keep weeds down and it will focus more energy on your plant your your produce uh and it's less weeds you have to work with i know a lot of people are going to straight uh tarps like they will lay down a 30 by 60 section of tarp and their whole garden will be ta uh, tarped so they don't have to worry about weeds and it it helps uh i mean in the future we may do that in a section because you don't have to worry about weeds it keeps the moistures in the moisture in and and i think it keeps your plants from rotting like if we had a bad uh, rain and uh, they sat here and they'd rot the bottom up we did have a few uh few sit here and rot on the ground but it wasn't too bad but we've had good luck out of the tarp for the watermelon i think we'll do it again uh so but there's been so much and the main thing i've told you a few things but the main thing about the gardening that we've learned is just do it just go get started uh we've been wanting to do a garden for probably four years now and we just did it uh we've always had an excuse like well we didn't have the room or we didn't have time uh but here we are we've we've made an amazing garden we've sold a bunch of it uh we spent a lot of time up here that uh, atlas and the baby and billy and i we've we've had a great time with this garden i mean it's been a, it's been a lot of work we have killed ourselves in this garden on top of working multiple jobs but it has been so much fun and uh, like i mean i'm up here at 7 30 uh and I just enjoy it we've we've really enjoyed it uh but just get started stop waiting for the right moment and take the moment and make it right uh we sit around and wait for everything to be perfect you you want you want to have enough time you want to have enough money you want to you want to wait till you're feeling better or you just you don't feel like it's the right time or you don't know what you're doing you're afraid to get started because you'll screw up just stop waiting you're the, the moment's never going to be right you have to take the moment and make it right uh because if we just waited we wouldn't have had this garden this garden uh we'd still be waiting We're, i mean just stop making excuses excuses and just do it that's what we did and i'm so glad we did um and there's a few other things that we're doing that we want to do and saying like just saying that out loud right now is like why aren't we doing that like there's so much stuff we want to do and we're putting it off like why put it off i mean if you think about it you're never going to have enough time there's you you'll never have enough time if you're waiting for you to have enough time it's not going to happen it's not you never find enough time you have to make time um 
or you just won't do it. And then you'll be like, man, I wish we'd done that. Or see, it just, it, we didn't have enough time or we just, I don't know what we was doing. We didn't know what we were doing. I mean, every now and then I'd look stuff up online when I had a free moment, I'd listen to YouTube videos, podcasts. I just, I wanted say to do beans. I started researching beans or what beans grow best in Eastern Kentucky. Or I was talking to my neighbors and people I work with. How do you do your beans? Uh, what kind do you use? When do you plant them? Write it down, make a note, uh, and just talk to people or look it up online. I mean, there's so much, you can about do anything anymore watching videos. And that's really what I want to do next year is more uh, hands-on individual pro produce. So next year I want to make a series from start to finish uh, on the green beans, on the tomatoes, on the peppers, watermelons, the okra, the kale, the corn. I want to make more uh, instructional videos on like what we did and what worked for us. And that way more people can get out there and do this because this was, like I said, so much fun and we enjoyed it. It brought my family together to do something. Uh, you get to work in your hands, with your hands, and you get dirty. Uh, and people don't get out and do this stuff no more. Uh, I mean... If the if you couldn't go to the store and buy stuff, I'd be okay because I can, I've got seed. I can come up here and plant stuff. Uh, I mean, and and honestly, the stuff we have grown has made me dislike stuff that we buy. I told you one story about the potatoes. We we had this restaurant that we go to, and I love their mashed potatoes. Well, we had been eating a couple of our mashed potatoes, like our Kennebecs, and we went out to eat uh, for some celebration. And uh, I got the potatoes, thinking these were the, going to be the best things. And they tasted bad. Like, they just didn't taste good. I'm like, why do these not taste good anymore? And it's because I had been eating my own homegrown potatoes. And we went... Uh, we went to the same place again later on, and they still tasted bad. I was like, well, maybe they it was a one-time thing. No, they still tasted bad. So uh, I've ruined that for me. But it's good because now we have our own uh, potatoes. We can grow our own potatoes. And we had them actually down this row here. We had our sweet potatoes and Kennebecs over here. Um uh, but it's just been so much fun. I recommend everybody doing this, uh, especially with the kids. Kids anymore, they need stuff like this. And I'm so glad we can get Atlas and the baby now. Uh, we'll start him when he's old enough. We bring him out here all the time. Uh, more people need to do this right here. Grow a garden. It don't have to be... A, a 30 by 60 or it just even a little garden grow you some tomatoes grow you some peppers put you a couple uh do a couple there's actually some deer up there right now i don't know if y'all can see them if i can zoom that in i can't uh but right up there above the road i think he's like right there there's a deer i'll get a video of them um there might be two actually um, but this, this is good. More people need to grow gardens. Uh, they've really gotten, gotten away from it. Uh, where I work at, I talk to a lot of people throughout the day and anymore, it is only the people that are 60 to like 75, 80 that have, that have grown gardens. Nobody my age there's not many people at all my age uh, that will grow, grow a garden, especially 19 to 30. Like, I don't really know many people that young. I'm starting to get in uh, kind of the click 
of people around here growing, growing gardens. And I know more people. I see them on Facebook. So I do see people my age, but it's because I'm in that little circle of people growing gardens. So I will see people my age, but outside of that, there's nobody. Like, and, and we really need more people growing gardens. Uh, I think there will come a time when you will need to grow your own garden. And the sooner you get started, the better. Uh, I think, I really think the fast food and a lot of stuff we buy at the store, it's, it's killing you. Um, I mean, it's causing cancer. You can look up all this stuff. I don't want to get into it, but you know it's not good for you. If, if you're watching this about a garden, you know stuff that's not good for you. So we've really enjoyed this. It's been so positive. Uh, we're going to take what we've learned this year and apply it to next year and just grow on it. Uh, stuff that didn't work. Uh, one thing, I tell you, it didn't work. We didn't have a good enough support system for our tomatoes. They got heavy really fast and broke over. So we need to grow. Uh, we need to do better on our support for our tomatoes. That was a big thing. Um, that was a really big thing. And uh, we need our cauliflower didn't do good at all either. That was one thing we really neglected. And by the time we really paid attention to it, it was ate up too bad. So that was one thing that really didn't do good. Uh, everything else did okay. And we're very happy with it. We have a lot of stuff in the freezer. Uh, so that's that's really it. Uh, one good thing that we did, we had a water source. I put I installed this. And if you want to look back through my videos, uh, just a 50-gallon a drum. And it's actually full now, of course. Uh, rain, the rainwater just runs in. And it actually has done really well. So that has been nice because during the summers here in eastern Kentucky, it does get really hot and you feel it. Like you feel it. It's hot and everything dries up. And I think this rabbit is up here in this bottom. If he is, I'll get a video of him might not be but nope I don't see it but I was looking for the deer up there too they've moved on but it's just so nice here's another watermelon I missed I think a tree just fell up in the woods So, but there's so many noises up here. When you're just walking around, you hear stuff. Like there's animals running through the woods. You see rabbits, turkeys, deer. I don't know, I love it though. Uh, but that's really it. Uh, grow your garden. Have fun with it. Uh, try something new. Don't be afraid to fail. Um, uh, if you're if you're avoiding failure you're avoiding success so we're all we're all beginners here nobody that has ever done anything started off amazing at it i didn't i mean we've we've learned as we've gone on uh just and that's with anything don't be afraid to look like a beginner because there's nobody out there that started being perfect at something, no matter who it is. Uh, and nobody's gonna make fun of you for failing, it for trying at least. You can try and fail, try and fail, uh, but don't fail to try. Just get started, uh, grow, like I said, throw you some corn in the ground, uh, anything, whatever you like to eat, just say like, I like cucumbers, I'm gonna try to grow a cucumber plant. Uh, 
and just get started. Post some pictures of it. People may tell you, oh, this is what I tried. It didn't work. Try this. It's a very helpful and nice community to be in, like gardening. Because everybody wants to see somebody else with a nice garden. Because they know, like, what kind of work goes into a garden. If you're going to sit around and uh, weed it, hoe it, till it, water it, pick it, uh, prune it, that's a lot of work. Especially if you're working full time throughout the week and you come home and you're tired and you go out and work in the garden. But it's so fulfilling. But that's really it, guys. I'm glad y'all hung around and listened to me. Uh, I've got more uh, videos I'm going to upload here soon. Uh, but just kind of wanted to show you the garden and some of the stuff we've learned. Uh, and it was fun. Uh, everything's fun about it. Like, even the fence, this gate. We made, Atlas helped me make this gate. And it's uh, seafoam uh, blue. And we put two posts in the ground. He helped me dig the post. He helped me cut some wood for it. We put the screws in it. We painted it. Uh, me, uh, myself, Billy, and Atlas, we all painted it. So that was a good day we got to spend together. Uh, Billy had, did some, had done some flowers out here. It turned out really well. And it's, this, there's a lot of memories inside this garden and around it right here. That's another reason. Try to, try to make a memory out of it. Because at the end, that's all we have is memories. Uh, and hopefully Atlas will be like, oh yeah, we, we worked in a garden when I was little. We had nice tomatoes. The stories, the stories that you can tell are really precious and especially your family. If they've got stories to tell about you, that's really your only legacy you can leave on them. Uh, so yeah, that's a good way to leave a legacy too, is something y'all can work together with. But it's nothing big and fancy, but to me, it is in my, in my family. Uh, but till next time, we're gonna try to do bigger, better next year. Uh, and we'll see how it goes, but I'll come back with more videos. I've got two or three other videos I'm going to try to upload in the next week or so. So please like, share, and subscribe, and just keep gardening and making those memories, okay? Y'all have a good one. Have a safe night.